How to score in the Champions League. How to score in the Champions League. Hello? This is Aussie Villain. Oh, hi Southampton, how you doing? Good, thanks, good. Listen, how can I help you guys? You want to offer me a job interview? Okay, okay. Uh, I'm just trying to think back. I can't remember what group you guys are in in the Champions League. Oh, you're not in the Champions League. Exactly. Stop wasting my time. Hi guys, I'm Aussie Villain. Welcome to Season 7, Episode 7 of The Impossible Dream with Bala Town. And today we're playing TNS, the new Saints in the league. And then we're hosting Lazio. We took a point off them in Rome. Can we do any better than that uh, on our own patch or on Wrexham's patch, technically? Uh, but before we get to that... Um, as you can see here, well, we did get off with the job interview at Southampton. Obviously, we turned that down. But also, player of the month for uh, the just-finished October. Look at this, a clean sweep. Damien Allmark, uh, four goals, uh, four games, seven goals. Um, we'll have to cut drop on that in just a second. But KDH and Reese Williams as well. A clean sweep of the uh, of the award, which is excellent. Um, there is two games to catch you up on since last episode. First up is in the league. It's the first Abbott with Town. Strap yourselves in. We took the lead when Jay Jenkins crossed for Sean Davies. And Jenkins then crossed for Allmark to double their lead. Ewan Dixon split the defence for Allmark to get his second. Before KDH got a fourth after half time. Allmark completed his hat trick. And then got a fourth when Guto Kingsley picked him out. So there we go. I probably made it sound like it was going to be like 10 or 20 nil there, didn't I? But, but Sean Davies got the opener. Damien Allmark equals Buston Brew's uh, record for four goals in a league game. Unfortunately, Buston Brew will maintain the record because he got it first. Uh, we tried to get him his fifth goal, but it just couldn't quite happen. Uh, and uh, KDH with a goal there as well. But you can see they're absolutely smashed Abbott with town. Next up, we played the New Saints. This was the uh, Welsh League Cup. I think a quarterfinal. Let's see if we got into the semifinals. We fell behind early on. Ruben Ferguson pulled us level after half time with a great solo effort. And put us in front when Ryan Murphy picked out his run. TNS pulled level with a late penalty, but we won the shootout. So there we go, we did get the job done. Uh, we were a long way below our best, to be honest. We pretty much put out the European team, you know, not mucking around in the cups. Um, and to be honest, we deserve to win. They scored from pretty much their only two shots. They had three shots on target in the whole game. Um, but yeah, we just, we snuck through in the end. Ferguson was really good up top. Uh, his first goal was quite good, wasn't it? And then they got the job done on penalties. So in the end, we got there. Uh, so we can't complain too much. And we've got our semi-final draw. And it's decent. Uh, it's against Britain, Ferry, uh, Clanswell. Uh, they are in the uh, the Karen Brew South right now. I'm assuming they've just been promoted up to that. Uh, and they're struggling a little bit as well. Oh, no, they're mid-table. They're not necessarily struggling. They're mid-table. Uh, oh, no, they've been in there before. I, it's the first I've heard of them. So, anyway, we're playing Britain Ferry in the semi-finals. You'd like to think that's going to be us in the final then. A uh, quick update of the uh, league situation. And you can see that uh, coming into today's game against the New Saints, we're a point back with two games in hand. Um, so... I mean, it's not must win, but, you know, it would be nice uh, just to make sure. Otherwise, if they were to win, obviously, they go four points clear with two games in hand. It's just, it's just starts to get a little bit a little bit too tight, perhaps. Uh, we can see here the Champions League group. Real Madrid have already qualified. If we can take anything off Lazio, and especially a win, then we just keep ourselves alive in the conversation of, uh, if not getting out of the group, then parachuting down into the Europa League. But first up today, it is, of course, the, uh, champ the Champions League, the... <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the Welsh uh, League against the New Saints. We are the favourites for this one. Historically, we've got a decent record against them. Now, 14 wins, 10 draws, and uh, just the eight defeats. Scott Rusko, as we all know, is back in charge after a season away. Um, he is decent, isn't he? He's got good management and, and motivating. Uh, we're up against almost certainly the Rusko bus park, uh, as we can see there. And this is the team we're sending out. Now, we... We can't send out a strong team because we do have the Lazio game coming up midweek. So this will be an interesting test for a lot of the youngsters against a very, very good team. So it's going to be Jaycock going in goal. It's going to be Mullenstein, Reese Williams, KDH, and Jenkins as the back four. Owen and McVeigh go in midfield. It's Connolly, Dixon, and Davies in behind Allmark. Let's go. All right, everybody is playing as expected. Always a good sign. I'm hoping uh, Dixon he could do a good job for us here. I'm not sure if we're going to use him in Europe, so I haven't really decided yet. Uh, Gomez says pick up where they left off. Let's just say we've been on a good run. Let you go next and impress me. Uh, pick up where you left off last time. That wasn't a great performance. Let's not do that. Let's impress me. Some calm. We have faith. And hopefully the kids will do what uh, the European team couldn't. 
and put in a good, solid performance against uh, the New Saints and come away with three points in the league. To be honest, I'd take a point. Um, but it is, it is actually a really good, as I said, a good test for the youngsters to see how far um, they are off you know, being re ready for Europe, as I suppose, because this is the biggest test that we face in the league. So um, we'll kind of wait and see how that plays out. But yeah, so far, not particularly good. Though we are dominating possession. Um, Ormark was looking nervous before that previous shout. It's not ideal. Come on, mate. You're supposed to be up there leading the line for us. And uh, you're looking nervous. We do have Owen Casey on the bench, so we have an option. Ideally, you know, I want Ormark to be the man in the league that just kind of... Um, gets the job done for us because uh, as I said he's he's a good finisher I just don't think he's quite technically good enough for Europe there's a good ball for Davies down the wing can he find Allmark in the middle he can Allmark saves right off the crossbar and he stuck away the rebound a 10th goal of the season now for Damien Allmark that's exactly what we wanted to do Davies did really really well the young winger getting forward onto the ball from Mullenstein and he put that cross on an absolute plate for Allmark and unfortunately the first one just hit the crossbar uh, wasn't saved by the keeper uh, but he was right on the spot, Johnny on the spot, or Damien on the spot, as the case may be, to take away, uh, to put away the rebound. And now we've got a work to do defending the corner. We know this is a weakness at times. It seems no matter how much work we do on the training ground, it doesn't particularly matter. That's been heathered away, not particularly far enough. A good block there from Reese Williams. And can we get our lines clear here? We can. Oh, and good ball there, actually, for uh, Sean Davies. He finds Connolly getting forward. Can he get a ball into the box? We do have men streaming forward. It's a penalty. It's a penalty. Well done, Callum Connolly. Sucked the defender in. Drew the foul. And it's going to be... Is it Jay Jenkins? McVeigh? It looks like McVeigh, doesn't it? It is McVeigh. No, it's Jenkins. Jay Jenkins, the right back. Can he do it? Yes, he can. Jenkins. He's a nice little penalty taker, isn't he? What is it with our fullbacks taking penalties? Jenkins is an absolute weapon at it. And um, obviously we know what Reece, uh, Re uh, Ryan Burke can do because he was a golden boot winner <laughs> two seasons ago. Uh, but there we go, 2-0 up against the New Saints. Can we get three before the break? McVeigh, good ball in. Connolly, it's a decent save. It's still there. Scrambled clear. Reese Williams has it now, and that'll end the highlights. But a really, really good... Oh, not, not yet, not yet. Can we win this? Go on, Connolly. Oh, Callum Connolly. He's a, he's a ginger wrecking machine, isn't he? It gets that away from McVeigh. Still there. Oh, we've won it with Dixon. Dixon goes early for Allmark. Allmark is just about in here. He's got a little bit of work to do. Men getting forward. Can he hold it up? Oh, he's done his man wonderfully. Damien Allmark. <laughs> that is piss taking. What a goal from Damien Allmark. He toyed with the defenders. Did the keeper with the eyes. Teased all his teammates thinking that they was waiting for him to give support in the box. But look at this. He's waiting. He's waiting. Have some of that defender and then have some of that goalkeeper. Did him with the eyes. Done him at the near post. 11th goal of the season. 3-0 to Bala Town. And it's not even half time yet. Can we put a nice score up on the New Saints? That would really be a good feeling, wouldn't it? Allmark on another hat trick. We'll give it an assertive uh, don't get complacent. Allmark still looking on nervously. I don't know why, mate. You're an absolute goal scoring machine right now. That's, uh, what, six goals in his last two league games. Uh, or last league game and a half. Could the Boston Brew record be uh, up for the breaking against the New Saints? That would be something, wouldn't it? Uh, we don't have too many changes we have to make on the bench. Uh, one thing I might consider doing, actually, is maybe taking Ewan Dixon off uh, because I am thinking maybe... I, I'm toying with the idea of going with a number 10 against Lazio because I think we maybe missed that against... Uh, Cullen Connolly unleashes one, but it goes high and wide. I think we missed a bit of an attacking threat against Ajax at home, and we saw when we played Lazio away, they didn't particularly threaten us. Um, so we might actually make that change. Ball in for a corner. It's headed away. Owen picks it up. What's he going to do? Goes back for Jenkins. Jenkins all the way back for Jaycock in goal. And this was an attacking corner of ours. Here we go. Building again. Owen has it. What can he do? A little bit of time. He finds Dixon. Can Dixon throw a pass for Allmark? They have a really good understanding. He goes instead for Davies. Sean Davies is in and Sean Davies draws a save. And I think we might use that as this time to get off uh, Dixon. We'll move McVeigh forward. McGonigal as the box to box. And I think that's happy days all around there. There we go. Is that going to change? It is So before the corner's taken. I don't, it doesn't really affect us, to be honest, if it's taken before or after. Sean Davies, I thought he did really, really well. He didn't get the assist for the Allmark goal, and that's maybe hurting his match rating a little bit. Let's take him off, get Guto Kingsley out there. We've got to try and give these young guys as much playing time as we can. 
Uh, and at 3-0, effectively, this tie is uh, well and truly over. Let's give him some more praise. And, uh, yeah. And just enjoy the moment of uh, giving the, the New Saints a little bit of a spanking. It would be really nice if we could get uh, Allmarkey's hat trick. It doesn't look like it's going to happen. Uh, the second half has just kind of cruised by, hasn't it? Here we go. KDH over a free kick. Goes for Jenkins. There it is for Connolly. Allmark's in the middle. Can he pick him out? He goes back post. Oh, not a team player. Duto Kingsley has it. Back for Owen. For uh, Mullenstein. For Owen. Allmark, on your toes, mate. Get ready for this cross. Kingsley, there it is. Back post. Oh, I thought maybe the knockdown there. McGonagall has it. Back for Callum. For McVeigh. Play him in. Play him in. It's there. Oh, Mark. Oh, that was the chance. And he's lashed it high and wide. And that is possibly the end of a chance of a hat trick. That'll do it for the game. It's been a really, really good performance against the New Saints with not our strongest team, crucially. Um, they Actually, that, they did much better than the first team did in the cup. But uh, there we go. We'll say, well done, boys. On we go. Allmark sends Barla Town top a classy Damien Allmark performance. Uh, if you're wondering how many goals he has, league goals he has for the club just now, of course, the Boston Brew record is uh, famously 69. Uh, he has 39 league goals, 10 in 10 this season, though. Um, and I don't think he'll get there this year. I mean, that would be a hell of a season if he gets there this year. That'd be, what, 49 goals for the year. Next year, though, next year could be the year if he stays fit and keeps, uh, keeps scoring the goals for us. That's 14 games won in a row now. Um, and I mean, when the second team's doing that to second in the league, you know, you're in a strong place. We're two points clear with two games in hand. Guys, wait right there. We host Lazio next. Could we be on for a first ever win in the Champions League group stage? Okay, guys, welcome back. We're about to face Lazio in the Champions League, but once more, an update on Chris Venables on the under-19s, absolutely smashing it to pieces. Four games played, three wins uh, against the Lazio twice. And, uh, and Real Madrid as well. They did lose a game to Ajax. I forgot to catch you up on that one. Uh, it was, what was the score? It was 3-0, so it wasn't the best score. But again, I mean, we're fielding a strong team. We're putting out anybody that's eligible to play that's not technically a first-team player. So KDH played, uh, Malone played, McGonigal, Davies, uh, Kian Peters. So it's a strong team. But still, the little Welsh uh, club that could, uh, we are top of an almost guaranteed progression from um, that Champions League, that Youth Champions League group stage. And the other thing I thought we'd do before we get to this game, I meant to do it earlier on, is an update on how the other Welsh teams did in Europe this year. So we're looking at the Euro 2 Cup. Now, the first qualifying round, Bangor City did win a tie. Massive. Uh, really, really will help out the, uh, the, the, the nation's coefficient uh, if other teams can keep doing that. So they won, which is excellent. They got through to the second knockout round or second qualifying round. This didn't go quite so well for us. Uh, if I can try and find everybody here. Bangor City lost to Apo, uh, Apo, uh, Limassol, which is acceptable, I think. Uh, Kevin Drewards got knocked out by a Georgian team. 3-2 on aggregate. So unlucky there. But the New Saints, uh, they did win a tie against Montenegro in opposition. So that, again, is, is very, very helpful. Uh, and then if we... Try third time's a charm. Try and have a look at the third qualifying round. Unfortunately, this didn't go too well for the New Saints. They were beaten heavily, 6-0 on aggregate by Storm Graz of Austria. So, um, not ideal. But if we do go and have a quick look at the uh, coefficient, the nation's coefficient, uh, we've got more points. We've got a whole point more than we did last year, which is which is good. It's good. Uh, obviously, we're still going. We could still look to accumulate points. It looks as though, as things stands, we're going to overhaul uh, Ireland. So, we'll go up one spot to 26th. Um, we might, we're going to, it looks like maybe overhaul Sweden as well. So that'll be two spots to 25th. Uh, now, again, a reminder, we need to get up to, so I think it's 17th before it has any benefit to us missing Champions League qualifying rounds. Uh, but it's all progress. And that's what we're all about in this series, isn't it? Just uh, getting things going forward. So that being said, let's go and see if we can move things forward in the Champions League. We are not the favourites of this one, as you would expect. We just had the draw last time out against them. Uh, not too much has changed, to be honest. They're still sitting second in Serie A, uh, which bearing in mind that we took a point off them at home, it's quite, we could we could win Serie A the way we're going. <laughs> uh, this analysis report, uh, we expect them to come out in this sort of similar formation. Um, you can see even in the league, they're only winning games 1-0, 1-1 against Roma, though that's a decent result uh, in, in the league. Um, but we can see there, they're maybe a little bit spread out. Um, they didn't challenge us last time, did they, at their place? So we're going to, this is the team we're going to send out. I'm going to essentially stick with what we did, but... I'm so tempted to put the number 10 in. But anyway, we're going to go with Rima Miles in goal. It's Burke, Swifty, Gosney, and Sears as the back four. Topley's done a really good job in here, so we're going to leave him there. Lowry keeps his spot with Murphy in midfield. Sam York is fit, but not Matt Sharp. And the other problem maybe with uh, with York is he doesn't quite have the jumping reach. If we have a look at Lowry, and we know that set pieces or defending them has been a problem for us, 
He does have better jumping reach, and his marking is decent. Not as good as Sam York's at 16, but still decent. Um, so that's why we're going to give Lowry a game. That in the match sharpness. It's going to be Duffy Thomas down the right, Maurice down the left. Ferguson is a pressing forward rather than a deep-lying forward. Um, we'll just try and get him up there causing problems. And here we go. Everybody is lining up as expected. This is this is exciting, isn't it? Uh, challenge to pick up where they left off. We were quite good, weren't we, against the New Saints? Uh, I'm going to say we've got nothing to lose here. Show what we're capable of. Um... How many times does that work, I suppose? Uh, Alright, pick up where we left off last game. Some calm we have faith. I don't know why I'm listening to Gomez. He, we, he's shown you before that we shouldn't listen to him. And here we go, Champions League football. A massive, massive game. It's one of these where we, we saw what happened at the uh, in, at their place, and you kind of think maybe we could should be winning this one. Um, but it's still a Serie A team. It's still Lazio, and it's we're still Bala Town. We, uh, we're still a Welsh league team. So... Um, it's, it's a tough one, isn't it? Everyone's looking a little bit nervous. Don't love that, if I'm honest. <laughs> I'd rather looking a little bit more confident. Duffy Thomas has picked himself up a booking. It's a little bit like that first leg, isn't it? Where we're not seeing too much from either team. And here we go. We've got work to do here. Lowry wins the ball back. Can he find Ruben Ferguson up there? Can he pick a pass here? He's done really well. It's Murphy running through. Ryan Murphy with a chance. Ryan Murphy! It's a good save from the goalkeeper. A tougher chance than he had it uh, at the Olympico, but still another chance for Ryan Murphy that he hasn't taken. Um, but pro promising signs. Again, we've seen the only highlight of that game, or of that half, was us getting forward. Uh, all right, so let's... let's uh, calm, we're not happy. We've demotivated Ryan Burke. Passionate. Go out there, mate. Duffy Thomas, you need to watch your step for me, please, sir. Um... Again, the wide players aren't particularly playing well. Ferguson hasn't really had a chance. Um, is it is it Dixon? Do we take Topley off for Dixon? Or do we take Lowry off and move Topley forward, given that he has even better jumping reach? Um, that might be something to consider. Let's give it a show some passion, perhaps. I don't like this anxiousness. I don't quite... Yeah, I understand where that's come from. That being said, I probably shouldn't have told them they were rubbish at halftime. <laughs> come on, boys. Get creative here for me. Get creative. We'll give it a little bit of time, and then I think... Oh, do we go for the number 10? We have to win a game if we're going to get through. Here we go with Adam Maurice. Corner in. It's Heather away. I did cross my mind. Can we get out of the group without scoring a goal? Um, that would be quite the achievement, but I think we would have had to have drawn a Real Madrid, wouldn't we, away from home to have that just to get the six points. Um, so it's unlikely that we can do it from here. Six draws, you wonder, maybe you could sneak through. Lowry and Murphy, is this going to be a Bala Town highlight? Can we pick a pass here? There's a good ball for Maurice. Can he take on his man, get across into the box? He goes out for Burke. Can Burke whip across in? Somebody do something. There it is. It's across the base. The goal! And Duffy Thomas sticks it away! And we've taken a 1-0 lead against Lazio. We've scored a goal in the Champions League. That's amazing. We're 1-0 up. And could this be a first ever Champions League group stage win? I don't think we won a game the first time around, did we? Could it be a first ever Champions League group stage win for Bala Town? Ferguson with the flick on. Duffy Thomas with the tap in. It's 1-0. There's 25 or so minutes to play. And now I get nervous. What do we do from here? We've got a set piece to defend. It's our Achilles heel. It's always been our Achilles heel on this occasion. The header straight at Rima Miles. And he clutches it gratefully to his chest. All right, rolls it out there for Swifty. What can we do here? The highlight continues. Ball over the top. Ferguson back to Murphy. That looked like like calculated, intelligent football. Lowry, Topley, Murphy. Murphy spreads it out there for the goal hero, Duffy Thomas. Can Duffy Thomas get a cross in? It's there for Lowry. Have it, son. Somebody put your foot through something. It's there. We're bouncing it around the edge of the penalty area. Lowry! Oh, it's a stunning effort and a really, really good save from the Lazio goalkeeper. A corner now. Where's Connor Gosney? Maurice takes his time over it, waits for everybody, gets it right, it's decent too, it's into the back post, it's hacked away, oh no, 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 not like that, there's a man getting forward, watch the man getting forward, oh Ryan Sears, immense at the back, stunning stuff, can we go, a long old highlight now and Swifty, that ends the highlight, boys, this is fantastic stuff, demand more, <laughs> come on. Can we win this ball back high up the pitch, it's a high loopy throw, we do let them win it unchallenged. And have we awoken the beast here, I wonder? Lazio have definitely come back into this game, haven't they? Look at some of these names. Luis Alberto in there. How are we beating this team? Come on, boys. Get a block in. Get a block in. 
Get a block in. Maurice is all oh, stunning from Adam Maurice. This is fantastic football. Can we get them on the break now? Maurice strings forward down the line. Can he get across in? He beats one. Adam Maurice beats two. Adam Maurice. Can he get across in? He can. It's there. It's Ferguson. It's just over. Adam Maurice. That was stunning football though, mate. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. Okay. What do I say? What do I say? What do we do? I'm panicking. Uh, okay, we've got three minutes to go. We've got another corner. It's there. It's decent. It's there! It's there! Oh, it's been disallowed for something. Conor Gosney pushing most likely because that's what Conor Gosney tends to do. All right. Think, think, think. We want to waste time. We want to slow it down even more. We want to... What else do we want to do here? We want to slow it down. We're already doing that anyway. Uh, that's that done. Let's play. Change is made. Let's go defensive. Let's cross our fingers. We're seconds away. We're seconds away. We've won a game in the Champions League. David Thomas, we beat Lazio second in the Serie A. I'm assuming defending champions of Italy since they were the seeded team in the group. That was absolutely stunning, boys. Well done. Young Bala Town shine against Lazio. Topley, that's fine, Topley, you're doing well. 2.32 million pounds in the bank. That's incredible, but if that's not good enough, look at this. We are now in the qualification spots, assuming that... And we'll, 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 I'll play through, actually, before we end the episode. But if Real Madrid go and beat Ajax, with two games to play, we're getting out of this group. So Real Madrid have battered Ajax, which is good, because that hurts goal difference as well. So that's amazing. So let's go and have a look at this group stage. We are... We're, we're in, we're in the knockout rounds as things stand. That would be that would be quite something, wouldn't it? I'd settle for a parachute down into uh, into the Europa League, to be honest. But if we can get out of the group, that's that's a massive achievement, isn't it? So there we go. If we, if Lazio and uh, Ajax can draw each other, or even like better than that, if if Lazio can beat Ajax, because we'll have the head to head now over Lazio, won't we? So as long as Ajax don't win that game, we are every chance of going into the final game of this group stage at Ajax of Amsterdam with a chance to qualify out of this group. Uh, but that'll do it for today. What we'll do is we'll come back next time for Hearts Reserves in the Iron Brew quarterfinal and then Real Madrid at home. If we can take anything from that, oh, that would be a massive, massive uh, bonus for us. But if we draw that and Lazio beat Ajax, I think we'll be out of the group, won't we? No, because it'll depend if Lazio beat Real Madrid. But anyway, if you've enjoyed that, do hit thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. I need a lay down. That was incredible. Take care.